Okay, today we are going to talk about the Chinese CPU and then the uh, mainly about the Nongsun 3A2000. Now, I'm using this computer 3A2000, Nongsun PC, you see, Linux OS running, which is a Linux system, Fedora 21. And then you see the CPU. Uh, 1450 megahertz for four core, two core, and then six, 16 gigabit for the RAM memory, and then the SSD 204 gig SSD. So now it's uh, running the system, it's very smooth. Uh, and then there are some, you know, kind of applications. Now we'll talk about the um, background of the this kind of system. See, long scene. It's a Chinese-made CPU, uh, which is, uh, you know, uh, the background is. You see, long scene. Open it, long scene. Which, uh, you know, a long scene body MIPS instruction sets. Uh, so they have the perpetual instruction sets so uh, they can modify the instruction set they can build rebuild or do whatever they can for the this kind of instruction set so the MIPS there are arms MIPS and you know x86 and uh, power alpha sun y or those kind of instruction sets so the CPU by running the MIPS they cannot run the x86 the Windows, but nowadays there there are uh, ARM's versions of Windows so they can some ARM CPU uh, which can run Windows as well, but the this one you know uh, because it's uh, using MIPS and their own instruction sets, uh, so it cannot run Windows Microsoft Windows. It can only run the Linux, so Linux is everything. So there are so many distros uh, from the China by Chinese modifications that Chinese distros of Linux. So uh, which uh, there are you know Deepin uh, based on the uh, Debian, and then the uh, you know Lamont Lamont uh, Fedora twenty eight. And then the Linux, which is this system based on the Fedora 21, sooner or later they were updated. So uh, you can see for this this CPU running uh, the uh, long, the Fedora, which is more, uh, which is smoother, faster than uh, Debian, I think, because of the optimi optimization, and uh, you know for the background. You know, uh, long scene using the uh, MIPS sixty four. At the beginning, they bought it. Now the perpetually bought it, so they have the uh, 500, 500 instruction sets at the beginning, and then the using now uh, they self developed. They have been developing the long ISA and uh, uh, long EXT, long VM, long BT, long as I. MD, so which, uh, so here you see, at the beginning, the MIPS brought from MITS, MIPS, uh, they had five hundred and twenty-seven instruction sets only. Now they extended it to uh, one thousand nine hundred and seven instruction sets in total, which means that uh, they have self-developed their own instruction sets to more uh around uh, 1400 so which is very great so now you can see they are not controlled by the usa even the usa when the usa you know sanctioned sanctioned china so they can still use their own cpu because they have perpetual mips besides mips they also have their own instruction sets so the mips is just the, the extension so they support their own instruction sets uh, and extends to the MIPS as well. 
so it's not pure MIPS now. So this known scene is very great. And uh, in China, there are several CPU companies, like Zhao Xin, Xiusam, using the x86. So the, uh, Zhao Xin can run Windows, Microsoft Windows, but the, the history is that uh, they uh, cooperate with uh, Wire, which is a Taiwanese CPU company, and then uh, the, 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 you know, they have the uh, authorizations from the Intel or AMD, I don't know. Uh, the history is just that, that the Wire got the x86 authorizations uh, so that they can use x68, 60, uh, no, 86 uh, instruction sets. So the Zhao Xin cooperate with the Taiwanese Wire so they Zhao Xin can use the x86 in China using it. So the future is that's the uh, Zhao Xin can use Windows, but just like um, they, they the self-made and then self-control and then uh, controllable the status is not so high. So um, the uh, normal, normally the Chinese government will not fully use the x x86 instruction sets like Zhao Xin. Zhao Xin may be uh, using uh, the personal use of the uh, commercial market only, not for the uh, Communist Party, government, and then military. Military normally use the, this uh, Long Xin because Long Xin has the, using a lot of night CPU on the, um, you know, the rocket, and then the, you know, the San Zhao, San Zhao rocket to the space, and uh, the many those kind of traffic lights and uh, government system and then the uh, government stuff military computer using long scenes so they can control and not to be hacked by the usa or by the other com uh, countries so which is more self-made and self-controllable and then so um besides x86 uh, with the Zhao Xin and they have also the uh, AMD cooperation with AMD the Hai Gong Hai Gang uh, so uh, they can also you know using x86 but um, normally just uh, using the IP you know the buying the IP and then use to sell it with the Chinese company's logo so it's not so self-developed self-homemade so Long Xin is the most homemade and self-controllable and then you know most you know self-developed own developed uh, CPU so I love Long Xin and this one is the Long Xin uh, inventor pioneer invent who invented the, the Long Xin uh, Wu Wei Mo Wu Wei Wu the great guy my idol and you know for ARM, there are Huawei uh, and then uh, Phaeton, Phytium also produce the ARM CPUs, uh, but not so self-made, self-controllable and self-homemade because they just uh, bought the, uh, the structures, instruction sets uh, from the ARMs. So I think, um, you know, ARMs, though uh, they bought it for a perpetual license V8 uh, for the um, core and structure modification. They can modify it. It is not so safe um, comparing to the long scene because long scene bought all the things they can modify all, not only for the uh, IP and then the structures or the core but also all the structures of the MIPS they can use so along since is much safer and better you know the Beidou satellite also using long scene so it's very great long scene you see the history uh, so long so it's finished and about the Phaeton, Phaeton, 
here. You know, Sun Y used this the uh, Tai Wu Jigong, the fastest supercomputer using this Sun Y instruction set Alpha, developing to Sun Y. Uh, Long Xin, Sun Wei, Phaeton, Zhao Xin, X86, Haigan, AMD Cooperation, Huawei Arms, Phaeton, uh, Phaeton and Huawei using ARM. So uh, there are also deep pin system. Deep pin. You can use a uh, Polynus deep pin. You can use a. Uh, you can use. Arms, some way over power PCs instruction set x86 and MIPS. So you can use all. So in China, they will use Linux instead of the Windows, which is more controllable. Okay, that uh, is the background of the CPU. See here. So, and this computer. Uh, the long sim one shown here using Zigong RAM, Zigong uh, memory, 16 gig. So that would be very, you know, homemade and Chinese made one purely. Uh, CPU and also the uh, RAM, SSD, also Zigong, by Zigong, and also the, you know, which chipset using here is 7A100 which chipset which controls the um, USB and then the uh, PCI and all the things here this bridge chipset here right the bridge before they use AMD SB 710 and RS780E for the loft bridge and then loft bridge and then south bridge. Now they use the 7A100, which is be which is uh, being used in this computer, which is a gray one. It's like here 7A100 bridge chipset with eight PCI 2.0. Support the DDR three one six zero zero, and also you know USB two only. So it's not USB three or SATA two uh three, just SATA two and USB two only for the seven A one thousand. So, but the, for the seven A two thousand, they are still developing. They are still inventing. So um not released on the uh, market yet so this computer just using 7a1000 okay so I think it's pure purely self Chinese made CPU RAM and um, a bridge chipset and also the uh, SSD and everything so I think it's very great okay all right and uh, you know now test is a test time. So now it's running the Fedora twenty one long neck system, and then there is uh, a lot of uh, application. So like those kind of things we can just install it on the uh, yum y u m yum Fedora. Oh, the technical version no. Huh? Here, click here, and then. You can uh, install whatever, whatever you want. Let me type the password first. Forget. Let's see. Okay. So here is very convenient. You just click on the YUM extender, which is uh, you know, which is uh, which is uh, you know, um, like in Linux, there are some you know there is a package installer. 
Under Fedora, they will use YUM extender, YUM installer. Under Debian, they will use, uh, you know, the uh, uh, DPKG, sudo the DPKG, what? Uh, the Debian uh, installer. Oh, Mozilla, Firefox, web browser, there is upgrade. Oh, so it's great. So you can type everything here to install the things here. Like Libra Office. You can search. So convenient. So there are Libra Office, right? Just click here and then here, OK, and then we'll download and install it. Uh, so this system is a Fedora. It's not so convenient as uh, the Deepin OS. It is okay. It can be usable. If you use the Deepin OS, it will be uh, more convenient and more user friendly. Here, just a very concise one. And uh, but you, we can use it. It's enough to use. So you can download everything and update or something. You can you can also open the terminal to type the things, download the things and happy using also okay right if you understand Linux which is okay you love to use and uh, now they have the uh, you, originally they have uh, you know everything like SM player you know sound player music player web browser Chromium, com uh, 360 which is a Chinese made uh, browser, Firefox, and then you know everything. If there are no, you can just download the things, but this is the MIPS instruction set. So there are not so more software as comparing to x86 and then the ARMS because the, uh, the instruction sets, they uh, the normally the people won't use it and won't develop the special um, software for the mix. MIPS instruction set CPU because if it is the x86 or ARM structures uh, software, you cannot run in here, cannot install it in here. They will just hint hint you that uh, the structure is different, the CPU structure is different, so you cannot install it. So the mainly the main you know developers are Chinese one. The for Chinese developers to develop the unique softwares for running under the mix MIPS CPU so CPUs here softwares are not so much even you search on the uh, terminal the repository but uh, you know there are not so many software for you to install it because not available in the MIPS instruction set okay but the Chinese software is normally okay because Chinese developers developed a lot of those kind of softwares because for the uh, home users of and uh, for the military for the our uh, government and also for the uh, you know uh, communist party to use so um, for the uh, originally there are some softwares so you can use that is the office they will have the WPS, which is a Chinese uh, developed uh, um, like office, like a Microsoft Office, which is good. So let me demo demonstrate it here. Okay. Click it. Right? It's like work. WPS work. It's very smooth. Huh? Can be usable. And PDF, they will have. You can do whatever. It's smooth. Can be used. Not so fast, but smooth. Music player. Oh, learning English. This is the MP3 the format. The the okay. so it's not possible to confirm what's actually happened. And this computer is the this one. I took the picture. Uh, this is a CPU, long sin 3A3000 Chinese made CPU, MIPS instruction set. This is the AMD R7 uh, 370 3D card. Uh, because the uh, long sin CPU and in the 
here, the 7A1000 bridge set. This one, Yinsai bridge set, has the uh, GPU as well, but uh, not so fast. So I uh, inserted a 3D card inside it, so which can run the game as well. So here is the long scene, a motherboard, and the SSD here, the Zigong SSD and the Zigong memory stick, Chinese made uh, memory sticks, 8 gigs plus 2 uh, uh, times 2, 16 gigs RAM, SSD, Chinese made or Chinese made, uh, except this AMD 3D card. Okay. And uh, using before I install Deep Pin, uh, which is a uh, which is an OS Chinese OS, right? Long Sin, three A two thousand, quad core sixteen gig to fifty eight gig uh, SSD, right? Deep Pin not so fast because Deep Pin the uh, running Debian, which is not so optimized for uh, Long Sin. So, which is about the optimization, if the optimization is not good, which will um, hinder the um, long scene speed. Fedora is better, so I use Fedora. Deepin is the, um, the Debian, not so great for long scene optimization, so the CPU uh, occupation is high. Maybe 3, 8, 4,000 will be better. So long scene, when you put the computer, will be like that. And this is the long seat at uh, this one. Here. Long seat. Okay, all right. And uh, Excel run, WPSC Excel. Can also open all the things that you see here, so big. Also can be open. How many max? Oh, two eight, two six eight K still can be used fast. As a word, this is the equivalent of the uh, Microsoft Word. Can be used so fast, no problem, no lagging. And PDF. No, this is the PPT X. How to write a good essay, right? Can be used. Okay, very. Okay, it's not fast, but usable. Okay, usable. No problem. Huh? Daily use, home use, normal, normally okay, no problem. Okay, done. Word, the office testing is done. Okay, multitasking. Uh, so many websites opening. Multitasking, uh, little bit not so great, not to optimize, because this CPU may be as the, um, the optimization with the um, software not so great. Maybe so this, but the CPU is not so fast, so it highly uses the CPU's power and then the um, uh, the uh, sausage. Oh, no, no, the, the resources. I mean. Not sausage. <laughs> so here you can see the uh, resources. Not so high for occupation, just under ten. But if you use the YouTube video, seventy seven hundred twenty p. And then the resources raised to here. Under 50 or some, sometimes, sometimes eight, uh, 70 or something. If you use the 181080p, that would be not good. It will be a little bit lacking because this YouTube, I think, is like running at Flash using Flash, not HTML5. 
so it's not optimization for the uh, long scene CPU so which can occupy a lot of CPU resources which will use a lot of CPU resources because the they will not use the 3D cloud they will just use the uh, long scene CPU for running the video because they don't modify or optimize optimize the uh, video to the 3d card which is uh, for the not so good the drawback is like that but sooner or later I think they will the developers will develop a lot those kind of things to use these resources for uh, decode for decoding using the uh, 3d card now just using the um, CPU because they haven't modified it uh, well yet so using YouTube maybe using fresh is not so optimized optimized but it's smooth multitasking using Firefox full screen a little bit slower comparing to the fast CPU so okay if uh, a little bit slower oh no one o a o p cannot try it try other maybe this one let's see whether there is a good grammar and spelling one oh eight op essays that inspire messages that forge brighter connection yeah let's see You see, not so smooth. Just lagging, lagging, pulling around. Because it's the oh, maybe running on flash, not HTML5, so not so smooth, and the mouth. And with the song, it's not a lot sync in sync. Here it will get 72 OP. But don't worry if you want Billy Billy, which is a Chinese uh, YouTube. So which which will be okay because they have HTML5. So people said that running uh, at 1080p which is also smooth, no problem. So let me try, but I'm not the uh, register user, so I cannot use the 1080p. So you see H5 here, so HTML5, HTML5. Uh, you see, only registered users can be used the uh, 72p over. So now it's running 4op HTML5, so it, which is very fast and faster a lot. So 
So the CPU is just uh, 60 something, 50 something, 50 to 60. So it's occupying high. Comparing to the Intel AMD fast CPU, I think 3A4000 will be okay. Will be under 20 or under 10. Why is so high? Because it's the optimizations for the um, CPU, which is not good. They are not using the 3D card to decode. They are now using the CPU to decode. So highly using the CPU resources here. Why? Because the developers uh, haven't optimized it to link to the decode using hardware decode using the um, 3D card. Now using software decode decoding by using the CPU. So which occupies the CPU a lot. Okay. Done. For if you using the video, YouTube video. Let's see YouTube YouTube video listening to a song and uh, using listening to a song and using the multitasking, browsing and surfing the LEDs and uh, also using a lot of um, office job which is okay can be usable no more lagging which is good and uh, I think it's okay can be usable but a little bit loading for slower because the CPU is slow that's why you see I can browse the reps as well the long scene main page see here can browse with no problem Hey, no problem. You can browse the rap side up with no problem. Huh? Good, fast, multitasking using a lot of websites simultaneously. Browse rap side, huh? Fast. Normal use can be okay. If the song playing, I can using I can use Word. To edit things, right? To edit things. Um, PowerPoint, right? No problem. Can be okay. CPU is like this occupation, which is can be okay. Okay. So, uh, try other things like everything can be okay. It's a good try, right? Multitasking, okay. And now I will try to play the game. 3D game, okay. And uh, let's see what's going to happen. Using 3D card, so I think it's okay. Lots so lots of slower. Huh? 